are back. Hi. We are Strings Attached, mother-daughter um, knitting podcast, mainly knitting, some sewing and some crochet. If you haven't watched us before, that's what we are. And I'm Mallory. I'm Frida. And <laughs> we're uh, kind of getting back to our normal. We, I had to take a pretty long break there to have my twins. And then we had kind of a, I don't know, random podcast last time just to update, update and make yeah. one. But I think we're going to be a little bit more organized today and we have more stuff to talk about. So, and we have some FOs. Yeah. Some big FOs. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We so, just had whips forever. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I guess I'll start off with my FOs then. Sure. I only have one, but. Go ahead. This is my Sorel by Wool and Pine. Finally got it done. It's gorgeous. So here it is. I made it a full length sweater, not a crop sweater like the pattern suggested, like full sleeves, full length, and it's really soft and cozy. And I love the drop stitch pattern here. It's just so pretty. I love it. I think it's probably the prettiest sweater I've ever made for myself. You steam, you steam blocked it, made it real soft. Yeah, I was gonna talk about that. So I used um, Barocco Vintage DK in um, pumpkin, and it's kind of a heathery, dark orange color, because I want to wear it in the fall, and, like in the winter obviously. And, uh, it is really like, it felt really nice in the skein, but then when I knitted it up and put it on, it was itchy. Like I was like, man, this is going to bother me to wear, especially around my neck. And then I had the neck, um, I think the pattern said to make it two inches and I made it a full two inches. Well, then when I looked on other people's projects, I've realized that like a lot of people don't make it that full two inches. Cause it's, it came too up tall. too tall and it was, especially with the itchy yarn, it was like driving me insane. So I just folded it over and tacked it down on the inside and just made sure when I, when I sewed it, I just made sure that my ribbing was stretched out so that when I got done sewing it, and I barely, like I tacked it like, every, like one little stitch every inch. It I makes just tacked it, it real loose. It makes it look like that cast on and where they do that fancy cast on and it's like the, actually two layers. Is that the tubular one? Yeah. Um, tubular cast I've on. I've never done that, but kind of I think it, it, I think it makes it look really um, like finished. Instead of having this like kind of bubbly rough, yeah. well, yours doesn't look like that, but sometimes they look bubbly and rough and having it folded over makes it look really complete. I really like that actually. Um, we might have to take little breaks here and there and have kind of choppy segments because I've got my babies and they're kind of sleeping. <laughs> not really. Not really. Sound. This one's not asleep. I can tell she's awake. <laughs> I thought the other one was wide awake too, wasn't it? Her eyes are open. Oh, okay. But she was kind of looking like she might not be to sleep. I don't know. We'll okay, see. we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I steamed it. I haven't, I think I'm going to wet block it too because this yarn is like partly wool and partly acrylic. So I steamed it for the acrylic side of things and oh, it's like a thousand times different. It is. It's so it's soft. It's so soft. It doesn't itch me anymore. So I don't even know if I will wet block it. I, I, I want to, but it's you not will really. someday when you wash it. <laughs> That's true. I could just wait till I wash it. Cause it doesn't really need it. It's so soft and it's, oh, it's perfect and cozy. And it kind of like made the yarn feel thinner. Mm, yeah. So it made it feel less like hot and bulky. Mm -hmm. And then, oh man, cause yeah, it's a summer day. I mean, we're inside, but I'm not hot. hot. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good. But yeah, oh, I love it so much. Besides my color work sweaters, this is the prettiest sweater I've ever made. It Definitely. is. It's, it's the fanciest stitch. Mm -hmm. It's really, yeah. it was fun to make. It was hard, but oh, there's a dog here trapped in there, of course. Everywhere. Oh, so pretty. I just love it. But nice. Yeah. And then I made, um, I think I made the fourth size and I'm pretty sure I made the fourth size. Let me see. Anyway, I got it done and thought, oh man, this is going to be too small. Yeah. I made the fourth size and I'm probably a 40 inch bust right now. <laughs> and <laughs> I might go down. <laughs> yeah. But I made the fourth size and um, I used this DK weight yarn and I thought it was going to be too small. Like when I first put it on, I was like, oh man, it's a little tight. But then when I steamed it, it relaxed it and it's, it's perfect. I think it fits perfect. It's just a nice fitted sweater. It's not supposed to be real super baggy. No, but at first it was a little, like Snug. I thought, oh, this is a little tight, but it's perfect now. Yeah. It's like I, cozy and oh, I just, I that love neck it. neck is perfect. I could like curl up and like take a nap in this. It's just it's it's so, it's like a sweatshirt feels like a sweatshirt. It's just really soft. I love it. It'd be really pretty for fall. So I recommend it. Sorrel by Wool and Pine. And I recommend this yarn. It made it, it turned the pattern. It worked great for this pattern. If you want to make a cozy version of it, 
because the pattern's supposed to be with mohair and all that stuff. And I don't like mohair, so I wanted to make a cozy sweater still, but yeah. you know, mohair. But, so if you want to do that, I recommend Barocco Vintage DK. <laughs> Perfect. So, yeah, that's my FO. So, let me start. I hear a baby crying, but she's not quite full screen okay. mode yet. So, <laughs> I got my one of mine on. I have Yay. the love note done. It's kind of a high low hem. Yep. I just uh, steam pressed it a while ago. This is this is in my El Cheapo uh, acrylic yarn, old as the hills from Germany. <laughs> in She's bright had it for red years. <laughs> if you haven't if you haven't heard that yet, she finally made something. I like think it. we're going to call it El Cheapo yarn. <laughs> El Cheapo. That's that's the brand right there. So this is the love note by Tim anyway, Knits. Look at it. I actually made it. She and did. It, this was all bubbly, and I thought didn't think it would come out right, but. When I steam blocked it, it, it kind of opened up all the yeah. It's really little pretty. heart things. It turned out way prettier than I ever thought that yarn would turn <laughs> I know. out. I'll probably wear yeah. it for Christmas, Christmas yeah. and Valentine's Day. Hey, yeah, <laughs> it'll look really pretty with a red like plaidish kind wool of skirt. Maybe you know, pearls. Christmas time. Yeah, I have a, I have a gray mm -hmm. plaid shirt. It's got red in it. Yeah. Skirt that would look good with it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so um, let's cut for a second, and then well, you guys won't notice because I'll just. Put it right back in, but I gotta go take care of baby. So hang on. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Had a crying baby. So okay, you got done talking about your love note. Oh, okay. So oh, you should have. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say you should have changed into your oh, info real quick. Okay, but we'll do that. Okay, so I got my Fair Isle. Get the name of it. Cloud Fair Isle. Cloud Fair Isle Cow. cow. It Finish. was a Cascade Yarns pattern. Mm -hmm. Wow, hold so, that up. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, it's it looks even soft. prettier on the camera, on the phone. Yeah, I know. You can actually see it, <laughs> the design, when you look back a little mm -hmm. better. So, And I just had enough yarn. I think I've got enough of the burgundy. I, another whole scan. I can make another whole one if I want to. Yeah. So, yeah. As a gift that. or something. As a gift. Yeah. Okay. And um, I can go ahead and show this and I'll change. Yeah. I have one sewing FO. This is Little Pattern McCall's M6912. And I made this. For my babies. Kind of a homemade, I mean, not homemade. Yeah, but it's old-fashioned. Little looking little. And it looks like old-fashioned, like a material that's uh -huh. old-fashioned too. And it crisscrosses in the bag. Doesn't have any like buttons or anything. You just flip it over their head. Hmm. Well, it's got a wide, weird? a wide neck. Yeah. Well, I don't the, like buttons anyway. Yeah. They're a pain. <laughs> and the bloomers, they <laughs> look huge. huge. But I don't know. That would fit a four-year-old. Got a little uh, <laughs> rickrack on the bottom. <laughs> So that was my little, that's all I got done in sewing. I've got a lot of stuff to do, but I just didn't get it done. And, um, okay. All right, you change in and I'll talk about the baby that I got in my hands. All right. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to one of my babies. The other one's still sleeping. So this is my little baby, Maggie. Say hi. She's looking at the, She's light. Looking at the light. And she likes to be held, doesn't she? See, I was, my papa had me and I like my mommy to hold me all the time, 24 seven. <laughs> doesn't really like to share with her sister much either <laughs> so she was uh 513 when she was born five pounds 13 ounces she was my little peanut but uh she's almost eight pounds now aren't you baby yeah she likes to grab a hold of my hair i think i'm gonna have to get the last three inches of it uh cut off because <laughs> they get that last three inches in their little hands and <laughs> pull it out <laughs> i'm losing it enough as it is i don't need it to be pulled out but okay Here's mom's other knitting yeah. FO. Weekender's done. Yay. I got a lot done this time. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You've been going. I haven't blocked it yet, so it's kind of rough on the edges, but it'll be softer when I block it. But it's done. I think it fits good. Fits perfect. It's got the and it'll fit even better low. after you block it. Yeah, it should. Because it's that. It'll be softer, too. So this is the Weekender by Andrea Mowry. Mm -hmm. And here, come this way so you can be in there for it. And uh, you use the recommended yarn. Uh -huh, I did. Oh, that's pretty. The shelter, um, Brooklyn Tweed shelter, and the homemade jam. Uh -huh. And uh, I like so, the boat neck thing too. Yeah, I love that. It's so pretty. Uh -huh. It's it's worked from the bottom up. Yeah, and the yarn is really it's really lightweight and um, kind of a weird yarn. But it's really kind of scratchy. And so she was reading about it on uh, online. Other people like you know had made comments about how it, the texture of it. And I guess. Supposedly, when you block it, it's supposed to like soften up and mm -hmm. kind of meld together. I hope so. But it's real lightweight, and it's not as hot as that other one. It doesn't yeah. have that as much. Yeah. yeah, I think I think if I just feel like it will, like when you get it mm -hmm. wet, and then yeah, 
dry it, maybe a little conditioner in the water. Yeah. I think it'll softer. soften that and be. But anyway, it's done, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's <laughs> really, does. like that collar complements your hair. I do stuff. like this collar. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. really pretty. It's a real, it's it's a big boxy. It's like a big it's square. It's a cozy yeah, sweatshirt. Yeah, to wear around. All right. Please don't puke on my Sorel. <laughs> Did she? No. Okay, good. <laughs> this is my puker. She spits up a lot. Don't you, baby? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so those are our FOs, and now we can talk about whips. Um, you want to talk about yours first, and then sure. we'll switch. Um, mine would be, oh, yes. <laughs> I guess I can show my bag later. We'll show that in a minute. Okay, I am making, got it started, the Anchor Summer sweater shirt. By Petite Knit. Yep. DK, DK Knit, it's a Cascade Sarasota in the... It's called an enemy. Okay. An enemy. Anyway, you've all a lot of you who knit, you've seen it. You've all done it. It's I've everywhere. Seen it right everywhere. Now. Yeah. I think it's a couple years old actually, the pattern. I've seen it on some older videos too. Well, I know the long sleeve version, the my size, whatever she calls it, the one I'm making. It's been out it's a while. It's been out a long time. Yeah. So it's really easy. It's the same thing. It's just mm -hmm. knit one, purl one, and then two knits and crease. I mean, it's real super easy. It'll even get easier as it gets to the bottom because it'll just be mm -hmm. plain straight. What do you call that? Garter? Uh, stockinette. Stockinette stitch. Yeah. I, uh, short sleeved, of course. It's a summer. This is cotton. And it's made of cotton, yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, am making one as well, but I'm making the long sleeve version. I'm making it out of wool, Cascade. Um, and I found it to be boring. <laughs> In personal, my personal opinion, <laughs> it it's, is a, a, little it's a really pretty uh, sweater pattern and it's going to be really nice when it's done. But if you're wanting something that's like kind of intricate and kind of, because I like to knit things that are challenging because then if they're not challenging, I just get bored. Yeah. And this was just a knit one, purl one. And I mean, just my personal opinion, I was bored. Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is a little bit, but yet you can sit and you can watch yeah. TV. And that's the benefit of it. You really don't have to think about I the might pattern. actually enjoy it now days yeah because i have i'm trying to knit between here like 10 minutes here 15 minutes there between two babies and so i might actually enjoy that because yeah. i don't have to focus on anything i can just knit yeah because i got my knit one pearl one part even done so i'm just on straight stocking it yeah now. you're just straight i don't have it to show but that's another one of my whips yeah i want to put you on my shoulder but i am scared you're gonna peek all over okay you have me down for this we've <laughs> showed these before i have the salt and pepper that I, we made uh -huh. With the cricket, uh, and I have it on my bench. But anyway, we had talked about this. I'm going to make a runner, and uh, she's she made these the pattern a long time ago. I don't know if I got it quite straight or not. Hmm. Anyway, so I'm um, squares, and then I will piece them together with maybe a little. What'd you say? Like red or? Yeah, either red strips to border them with blue squares in each corner. Something like that. Or I thought about doing white, just white fabric to border them and then quilting them with red thread. Mm -hmm. Like really that. small, um, like tight quilting so that it really looks red, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll just have to see. So I've got the squares. This one would, I'm just having a hard time getting it ironed on it. I still have the plastic. So that's a good way to show how Cricut works though. Yeah. How Cricut vinyl works. Yeah, it cuts it out on that and then you've got to see, I've got it started, but there's places that needs to be ironed yeah, it some needs more. To be <laughs> stuck down more yeah so but anyway we'll, it's we'll continue to work a little bit better than it was but yeah so those um were inspired by these old antique salt and pepper shakers that these were grandma's first right yeah okay so these were her similar. mom's mm -hmm. we've showed them before i'll just quickly show them so i took pictures of those on my phone cleaned them up on cricket design space and um we're making we made those pillows to go with her kitchen mm -hmm. and we're now going to make a table runner Yes, yeah, she looked just like that. She did. Now exactly. we've done such a good job. I mean, let's do a windmill here. I mean, look at that. Yeah. That's perfect. You're okay. You're okay. So maybe I can get them sewed together that they look good too. Yeah. <laughs> she got a farmhouse style kitchen, and those are, in my opinion, they look. I don't know. They go with the old like. They go with the old farmhouse look. Yeah. They don't go with the new farmhouse with the all the gray and the black. And uh -huh. blah, blah. It's like the old farmhouse just of nineteen thirties. An actual farmhouse. An actual old farmhouse. Instead of a modern house that yeah, has from the farmhouse farmhouse. decorations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Antique farmhouse. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So, um, let me show my whip if you want to hold Maggie for a second. Oh. Good to hold Maggie. <laughs> oh, I so, I am working on the uh, Magnolia Summer, which the pattern's wadded up in the bottom of my bag. I've showed it a million times. So, it's the Magnolia Summer shirt by Camila Vad. 
And um, last time I showed it, I just had a little bit of the um, flower stitching done. So now I've got that whole part done. So yeah, this is the front. Oh, there goes my yarn. So I've got all those uh, little flowers finished now. She's on the border. And I'm on the border. Aren't those pretty though? Oh my goodness. And then I gotta make short sleeves, so that won't take too too much. Don't let her puke on you. <laughs> so the um, the border is like a five inch twisted rib. And uh, that's gonna take me a while. Cause twisted, I'm slow at twisted rib. You have to knit through the, did she puke on you? No, I'm just gonna get a bird claw. Oh, okay. I had one, I don't know where it went. But anyway. So I've been slowly chipping away at that. It took me a while to get the uh, flower part, uh, grid done because like I said, I've got two babies to take care of and I had to follow that, that pattern stitch by stitch and it just took me a while. So hopefully I won't take as long to get the border done and the sleeves as I did to get that done, but I don't know, no promises that that'll be done my next podcast, we'll see. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, as soon as I get done with that, I'm gonna cast on, I wanted to get this sweater and that sweater done before I cast it on something else, because I like to kind of get my stuff, I don't like to have a thousand whips, it just stresses me out. So I'm gonna cast, or get that done, and then cast on my next Jupiter crop, which I showed all my yarn for last time. But, so I'll have two Jupiter crops done. And then I have um, the yarn that I bought for mom for her birthday that she ended up, I ended up keeping and got her different a different collar. I'm gonna make um, either another, or I don't need one, but I'm gonna make a Felix cardigan like the one mom made with it. Or um, I found this other cardigan that doesn't have buttons and it's called Harvest. It was a free pattern by Tin Can Knits. Really pretty. It's like a long cardigan with big wide bands, no buttons. Oh, and it just goes way down below your waist. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Just real cozy, like just throw on, wrap over you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I'm either gonna make that or the Felix. So I've got two sweaters, future, like soon future coming up that I'm gonna make. And then, yeah get these done so cool. that's it for me that's all I oh and then I, I I do have a future knit I don't have any yarn bought or anything but I just downloaded this this is the summer of 16 top oh, can you see it there it's got a really we, pretty front on it um we so and so has one yeah we got the idea from um what's her name cat kit cat cat no it's not cat it I don't sounds know like cat? Cat? I don't know Kathy no she, it sounds like that to me. Okay. Anyway, the We So and So podcast. She's a Scottish um, woman and she has a Scottish accent. We like to watch it because my mammal May was Scottish and it just brings back memories of her but accent. That woman makes so many sweaters. She does. She really busts them out. You I can take her back. back. Yeah. <laughs> find better with her. Come here, baby. <laughs> you just need their mommy sometimes. Yeah. She likes mommy. So anyway, I'm going to make that out of cotton, I think. Maybe Debbie Bliss cotton. Yeah, I would like to try it too, but I've got other things I'm doing first. Yeah, I probably won't get to it for a while. Like I said, I think it'd be next summer sweater. We could do it in the spring. I've at least got two more sweaters ahead of it that I want, that I actually have yarn for. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll probably work on those first. But anyway, so that's it for future for me. So let's do future for you. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, and ac kind of acquisitions yeah. too. This is Wool of the Andes Tweed. And this is what I got, what she ordered me instead of the other color, which was exactly like the weekender. But here's all the colors. Yeah. Hmm? So the main color is going, oh, let's is talk it... about what you're making out of it, first of all. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try to make the throw over you're by gonna make it. You're gonna be fine. Dear Renee Knits. Drea mm -hmm. Renee. Dre it's Renee. Andrea Mallory. Yeah, anyway, it's that one. Mm-hmm. So the main color will be green. Yep. And then all these other colors will be the colors. Yeah. And the stripes, so. The yellow, the cream, and the pink. It'll yeah. be her, will be her um, color work striping. Yeah. It's going to be pretty. Mm, so I'm that's jealous. what I'm going to, I'm going to start it pretty soon too and have it and the anchor sweater going on at the same time because you're supposed to have at least two going. Are you? Time. Who says? Uh, they all do. I mean, some of them have like 10 things going. I usually do. Two is enough. Yeah. I usually do have at least two though. Well, I mean, I you do. get bored with one, you're like, ugh, I can't work on this anymore. Yeah, I do have crochet. I never, I haven't done anything with my buffalo thing. I've got that going. Mm -hmm. I may finish it sometime soon yeah we have a so. lot more whips than we actually show <laughs> yeah <laughs> especially with her she's got all kinds of whips upstairs in her sewing room well and i have <laughs> one whip up there i haven't got to do anything since the last time was my dad uh k k faucet oh material the, the that purple, my sister got me for christmas like the snowball quilt the snowball it's called blo uh, blooms blooms mm -hmm. bloom so i'm still working on it it's on my sewing machine i do a few blocks once in a while yeah 
but I still got a few to go. Anyway, for my birthday, my sister, Gail, got, Gail got me another K Fawcett book. Pretty, 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 pretty. And you know what? I don't remember the. She bought me this, so I don't have the name of the quilt I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> Did she pick you out a quilt to make? Yeah. Oh, it's that's funny. The, it's the kit. Well, wow. anyway. Hmm. Well, you'll show it again. I'll have it again. When you start making blocks for it. It might be. I don't know. Anyway. You don't have any of the blocks made anyway, so. Yeah. I've got <laughs> the name of it upstairs. I just didn't bring it. So anyway, she got me more. It's a whole kit to make this certain quilt. Wow. It's all these K Fawcett. She went all out. Really pretty bright. And he has certain collections, like his the blue stuff. And he has a lot of, this is, this one's kind of muted. It's not as bright as some of his stuff. It's bit. pretty bright. Yeah, but it's not quite as bright as some of it. So it's, it's not like that red sunflower dress. I did wear that, Sunday. Yeah, she came out. Not to church. She met me out at the car. She's like, could you see me coming? I was like, yeah. <laughs> as soon as you came out of the house, I was like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> it is bright, though. That bugs me. I can't think of what the name uh, of that quilt is. But anyway, yeah, it's pretty bright. Oh, well, you'll, you'll show the quilt again when you start. I'm sure I will. So, yeah. So, oh, I, I do have something new. Can I show yeah, that? acquisition. Uh, I also got this for my birthday. My daughter, Julie, got me. It's a yarn bag. And, and it has a little, yeah. it has a little um, ring, like a little hole that your the string of yarn could come through. It could, but I'm not going to do that. Why? Because then it's for sure in there, and you can't get it out until you're done knitting it. That's that good. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, it's got little <laughs> elastic things here. I know, I've never figured out. What that is, unless you want to stick your a pencil in needle there. pencil, yeah. I don't know, but I like it. I've got my uh, anchor sweater in there. That's the bag for my anchor. And I wanted to try some of these um, short, short, uh, like sleeve interchangeable. Yeah, I like for sleeves, and sleeve such. needles. So they're they're. I think they go from five up to eleven, and they're only like ten inches long or something, right? Ten or twelve inches long. Yeah, you got a twelve. Because even the, the 16 inch um, long needle, the circular needle, is too long for a sleeve. Yeah, I've used these. My mom hates double point needles. I hate double point needles. Well, I'm going to go grab so, a passy for her. Okay, one of them's, you know, really short. And then the needles themselves aren't very long. So you can do a sleeve until the very end, like maybe the cuff, the ribbing or something might be a little hard to do with them. Which you can do double pointed. But I just don't like to do double pointed needles. I hate them. But see, mm -hmm. that does pretty good. You can They're make a pretty good sleeve. Kind of a necessary evil, but they are annoying. Mm -hmm. I will agree with you on that one. So anyway, I was really excited about that. Yeah. They're called... Especially um, since they weren't that much money and they're working good. They're by Denise. They're Denise Interchangeable Knitting Needles. Love to knit. Sharp, short tips. And they're just plastic. Yeah. And those are like super thick. They are. Cords. Actually, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Kind of like that thick. Well, it holds the shape. It holds the oh. shape. Yeah, you don't have... That little tiny cord, and then you mm -hmm. gotta push it all back up on the knitting needle yeah. every time you come to it. It just keeps the shape of the yeah. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Which I like my new knitting needles too. I've used them too. In fact, I've got my yeah, anchor, like mm -hmm. and they're they're plastic too. I don't have them in here, but um, I showed them last time. Yeah. And this is just a fun little notion. Everybody in the world's got them, but I didn't know about them. Now, isn't that silly? <laughs> little stitch markers. How can I, I didn't know about these? So, they come we're just now getting into the. The fancy, notions. Fancy stuff. Yeah. Normally we just use scrap yarn and we tie yeah. it into a little, well, <laughs> I mean, a little loop. I didn't, I, I would say, okay, like you got to do 10 rows of something. Well, I would mm -hmm. sit there and I would count. Or I'd use a safety pin. Well, yeah, but it's, a lot of times I would just go, no, Me too. was I? Where'd I start? Mm -hmm. And I tried it and I wouldn't get it always right. Mm -hmm. but, stitch markers. Just put why, them on the... Why, why didn't we know that? <laughs> I don't know. We weren't trying to know, I guess. I guess. We were just getting along with what we've always did. Just doing... I mean, we're trying all kinds of new stuff this year. Well, we've just seen so many new things on other YouTube. Yeah, because of you, other people's YouTube channels. Yeah. I just always just knitted You make do with what you have. And... That's what I do anyway. I make do with what I have. Yeah. That's kind of my theory. Yeah. <laughs> and I would like knit, you know, like for a while I'd knit the same kid's sweater for like every kid. I'd knit mm -hmm. like 10 of them. And then I'd, well, I would knit like one in a solid to learn the pattern. And then I'd start striping. And then I'd make my own stripes up. And I started to, because I like a challenge, so I'd start making it harder for myself. And then I would add cables here and there to things. And But now I'm learning all kinds of new stitches like this. This was fun. Mm -hmm. And color work. I'd never tried like a color work sweater before this year. Now I've made three. 
Yeah. And I've done well. Yeah. And I made hats, color work hats. And you're doing different kind of cast on and we're branching out on our yarn. Normally we would just go to Joann's and buy acrylic yarn. Which some of that's really nice. Yeah, it was. I mean, they have a lot of line buy, brands. We so. didn't buy like Red Heart, but we bought. Oh, I used to. <laughs> well, we start. Yeah, we started years ago on that kind of stuff, but. We would buy like nice acrylic yarn, but still now we're getting into like the wools and stuff. Yeah. So we're really kind of branching. Both of us are branching out on things. It's been really fun. My goal, mm -hmm. I want to get some um, of the variegated hand dyed mm -hmm. uh, either worsted or DK and make just like, a, just a, maybe it's just a straight sweater, but mm -hmm. all the colors, the, yeah. the variegated. The, I I'd looked like to do that. at those yarns and they're gorgeous, but they're like $30. I a know. Stain. Maybe someday. It's like, oh, I just, I'm not. Mm, I can't do it. I yeah. mean, I can pay thirteen or fourteen dollars this skein. I'm like, it makes me a little bit sick to even do that. <laughs> yeah. But thirty dollars a skein. I'm yeah. like, that would cost well three hundred dollars to make a sweater. Yeah, it takes six, seven, and at least. Yeah. It just depends on how many yards is in them, and then it depends on what kind of pattern you're making. I think what I'd like to do is wait until I can actually go to a nice yarn yes, shop and feel it, and feel it, and see the actual colors mm -hmm. instead of online just guessing. Yeah, because that makes me nervous too. I'm like, man, I don't want to pay that much, and then I get it, and then I don't really like it. Yeah, or it's self-striping, and I thought it was yeah. going to be speckle or something like that. You know? Yeah. Because sometimes they don't describe; they just show you a picture of the of the skein, and you're like, man, that's really pretty, but I can't tell. I don't want anything self-striping. No, I don't. Not unless that's what you want. Not unless I'm making a Christmas stocking or something. I don't want it to sell. Yeah. I, I, do I, don't, that. I don't want to mess with, I don't know. I'm going to make some Christmas stockings. Maybe on I a kid's sweater. Maybe get some of that self-striping from Christmas stocking. Yeah. Maybe on a kid's sweater I could do a self-striping, but I would not want, personally, Yeah. a self-striping anything for myself. Maybe a pair of socks, but I don't knit socks. So. Yeah, no, I might do a pair of socks. I do want, that's something I might... My goal. All these knitters I, online I, make socks all the time. I want to make a pair of socks two at a time on the circular needles. Yeah. I'm going to try to do that one of these days. I have that yarn I got from Lovecraft by accident. Or I don't know if it was by accident or if they sent me a, like a, a bonus, promotional a bonus thing. thing or something. But um, anyway, I uh, have that sock pattern that I was going to make. and But I haven't started it because I don't know. Just one day. Maybe. I have too many other things to do right now. And babies and everything else. I've got some Christmas stockings <laughs> to make. Got three great grandbabies that needs a new Christmas stockings. And two grandbabies. And two grandbabies. You're not going to get five stockings done. I have three at my house that you can use. I, can I usually use, just hang them up for decoration. I, I can use, use them and then finally get one made for yeah. them. But yeah. yeah, you can use them though. Okay, so uh, personal updates. Um, I showed you Maggie. Alice is asleep. Uh, so I'm not going to wake her up. But I will. Um, you can put in a picture. Yes, I will this time. I said I was going to do it last time. I forgot <laughs> Because I didn't get the video edited for like five days. I got it made and then I was like, okay, that's as much as I can do right now. And then I forgot five days later to do it. So I will insert um, either pictures of the twins or a little video clip. Maybe when they wake up here in a little bit. I brought their um, apple and watermelon cardigans over. Oh, no. Nice. So if they wake up and they're in good humor here in a little while, we'll put those on. If they're not, yeah. if they're not like pukey. Because if they're in a pukey mode, like if they just ate or something, I'm going to put those on because I don't want them to get puked on. So They will be easily washed. That's true. But if they puke on them, then I don't really want to show them on the podcast. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I brought those over. So we'll either take pictures of them in them or I will take a little video clip with the two babies in their little cardigans I made them. Because they're supposed to be like between newborn and three month size little yeah. cardigans. So, and I brought little pants that match them and stuff. Be cute. I think they'll fit um, Alice really good. Yeah, they're going to swallow Maggie because Alice is about 10 pounds now. Mm -hmm. And she's chunkier. Yeah, they're still two pounds apart. Yeah. Alice was like your average size baby, only she was a twin. She was born eight pounds, seven ounces. <laughs> and Maggie's like your normal size twin. So she's good Pretty sized mm -hmm. for a twin, but she's smaller than Alice Yeah, at this at six weeks old. <laughs> yeah. They're six weeks. At six weeks old, she's more of like a fresh newborn size. Yeah. You know what I mean? But she is filling out and getting bigger. Yeah, she is. She doesn't feel so like... Yikes anymore, yeah. like she did when she was real well. Yeah. But, okay, the only other thing I wanted to talk about was our new coffee cups. Oh, yeah. So, we've got our new coffee mugs today. They're like a knit pattern on them. So, the story behind these, uh, my sister, Julie, apparently got these from me for my birthday. And I don't know if she forgot she had them or... She forgot to bring them when she came. Oh, okay. So, but anyway, she ended up sending, she asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I said, just get me some baby stuff, you know, get me baby clothes, because that's what I needed, and that's what I wanted, and, uh, and I didn't know what to, I mean, I didn't know what to tell her, you know, whatever, <laughs> and uh, so, but that's what I really needed, so I was like, just get me baby stuff, I'll, you know, even though it's not for me, it's still for me, 
So she got maybe clothes. And then I guess she must have got these cups for me or something either before or after that. Whoops, sorry, honey. And then before, forgot to bring them. Yeah. Yeah. So then she sent a big box of stuff for mom and my other two sisters for their birthdays all in one big box. And she's like, you guys just pick pick what you like out of there. It's all for you guys, you know, whatever. So mom picked out what she wanted. And um, we got, kind of thought like, oh, maybe um, Becky and Moore would like this stuff. Or she did. And she was, um, I came over here and she was showing me everything that Julie sent. And I was like, what are those cups? <laughs> and she's like, well, I think like she did say something about giving those to Laura or maybe Laura would want them because Laura drinks coffee all the time. And I was like, Laura can't have them. <laughs> I was like, we need those on our podcast. And I didn't know Julie had originally got them for me. Anyway. Yeah, she did. I was like, I'm sorry, but those have to stay here. Those are, her, they're knitting. They have knitting patterns on them. Laura likes little cups anyway. And these are big. Yeah. So I was like, I'm sorry, Laura, but I'm keeping those cups. <laughs> they weren't really for me anymore, but. So then we told Julie that. She's like, well, I originally bought them for Mallory anyway. So I was like, well, good, because I took them. <laughs> <laughs> she she boxed all this stuff up, and she really didn't get the box tight. And it had everything was breakable. Mm -hmm. Almost. Well, there was several things breakable. Mm -hmm. She says, I don't know if they'll make them or not. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the mailman brought the package, and she says, now, this is all smashed. And she says, if there's any problems, call the post office. you call the post office <laughs> and... Um, so I, I said, okay. And I looked at it and I thought, well, they probably will be all broken. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I, I opened them up and there wasn't anything broken. And, but they were loose in there. That box was like, it looked like somebody kicked Well, in. they had these. These are like porcelain. These are like ceramic. Yeah, I mean, those rolled around in there. Mm -hmm. It's a wonder it didn't break something. Yeah, if a corner of those would have hit one of those cups, just right, it would have been. Because there wasn't anything broken. It's a miracle. Yeah. Julie made the mistake of writing fragile on the box. I've, I've, heard, I've heard that if you write fragile, the chances of your stuff getting smashed goes up. Well. Because it makes the, I don't know if it makes them mad or like, ha, 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 fragile, kick. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this I've lady that, said, though. well, it, it's got fragile written all over it, but it's obviously been smashed. And it was. It was like demolished. <laughs> but anyway, they got here, and I loved them, so I stole them. And they were perfect for a knitting because, yeah, they've got that sweater pattern in there. Yeah. So, anyway, we're drinking our tea out of them today. And that's, I think that's it for everything that's been going on with us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'll insert a clip of the babies here at the end. And um, if you like us, please subscribe. We're trying to get more and more subscribers. It's fun to see that number go up. And uh, leave us a comment because we don't really know who's watching. So if you leave us a comment, then we know that you watched. And um, that's the bad thing about YouTube is you don't know. Yeah. I can't tell who the followers are and I don't know who's watched it. And mm. But it's still fun to see like, oh, we got so-and-so, you know, no, much of the comment comments. Or, yeah. Yeah. And um yeah, so we have an Instagram. I'll put a little um, link here. Not a link, but I'll put our Instagram name up and our Ravelry name. And Yeah, just follow us and subscribe and leave us a comment. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. All, All right. Stuff. Thanks. Okay, here they are. We're about to scream. <laughs> so this, I have Maggie. I have Alice. <laughs> and these are their little... Um, they're six weeks old. These are their little uh, newborn to three month size little cardigans I made him. So I tried to match the little outfits. So she's red pants with little <laughs> ruffles and Alice has got pink pants and she's got actually a watermelon onesie on with her watermelon cardigan. <laughs> she's giving you guys the crazy eyes. She does yeah. that sometimes. <laughs> she gets like real big crazy eyes. She just ate and I'm trying not to squish her. Yeah, we don't want her spitting up all over the place. <laughs> they actually kind of calmed her eyes down. Yeah, now bit. you can see they're at the top of their little sweaters. Yeah, so that yeah, one's yeah, just got like black buttons that look like watermelon seeds, and then this one's got actually oh, little here apples. Is. They're apples. Oh, yeah, it's apples. Little <laughs> apple buttons. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so we just thought we'd do a little clip and introduce, and this one's getting hungry. <laughs> so she's going to get mad. So, this anyway. one's full. <laughs> yeah. So there they are yeah. for everybody to see. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.